Hello Aries, welcome. I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so of course everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel. We're about to do three tarot views review as well. Thank you. See what's going on. I feel that. I feel, I mean, I, yeah, I feel that, Aries. It's like, uh, oh, geez. I feel that. Yeah, um, the phrase ignorance is bliss. Ignorance is bliss. But sometimes it's necessary to not be ignorant. Um, even though it's very painful, it's definitely eye-opening. So jumping into this, what you show me, there is something very painful that you are going through experiencing and feeling. At the same time, with this pain, it is bringing in clarity and perspective for you. I don't exactly know or understand, you know, how you're kind of receiving this information or receiving the situation kind of turning out the way it is and has. Um, you're responding in such a way of kind of like, well, what does that mean for me? But then your energy kind of shifts and switches. And I feel like there is something going on here between you and someone. Um, and I don't exactly know, you know, the dynamic or the situation, but I kind of feel like for you, what you're saying is you don't feel like you are being recognized enough by someone in a connection you're kind of showing me that whoever this person or individual is to you there definitely is some sort of connection there but because they're not 100 percent acknowledging or paying attention to you you're kind of like well what the hell is going on um i don't know i don't know but you definitely are as well trying to work on something financial at the same time so there's a little bit of a uh, toss-up here between what your focus and priority is um, I don't know if this is focus on yourself, Aries, or if this is focus on your work, Aries. I don't know what this is. Uh, for some reason, there's ener like an energy of um, directing attention and directing focus on one thing and inst instead of kind of spreading yourself out too thin. Um, it's kind of like, let's just say if you are at work, what are you doing seeking attention from others? That's just, a, you know, you're using that as a distraction. Um, or vice versa. If, you know, if you're paying attention to someone or in, that you're in a relationship with or there is a connection to put your work away, you know, it's kind of like choose one or the other and kind of stick to it. You're showing me that with this toss up, that's, that's what's causing a little bit of like, um, some, hmm, some friction here between the two of you. I feel like you do want to work on bringing back the good times between the two of you at the same time. There's a curiosity of do they actually 100% truly care and have feelings and emotions for you or do they not? And this is causing you to become a little bit frustrated and irritated and start kind of thinking a little bit independently. Now, it's also at the same time, though, as you're learning more about yourself as well as you're learning about the connection with the two of you, again, that that energy of independence kind of kicks in. But it's also very kind of unnerving and unsettling. You're showing me, I don't know where this is going to go. I don't know if, if I work, if I put in work and effort on this connection, are they going to kind of step and put up work on this connection as well? 
Um, fascinating enough, Aries, because you kind of mentally checked out and hit the road and started thinking independently, you're actually the one showing up, not necessarily wanting to actually genuinely work on the connection anymore. You're kind of like saying, um, fast to run, fast to hit the road. While meanwhile, you're not too sure if they're going to work on things, but their energy actually shows up willing and ready to work on things. So it's kind of like, you know, first to go, last to know. Don't know what's going on, but we'll see. So, yeah, yeah, it, it's kind of like slow down their speed racer, slow down their speed racer. So, so quick to hit the exit, so quick to hit the door. Um, yeah, look at this. And as I say that, there you are, off to the races. It's like, runner, 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 runner. You know, nothing wrong with running. Um, at the same time, you know, that there is a lesson there to be learned with it. What are you going to see if you slow down? What are you going to feel if you slow down? Hmm. Oh, goodness. Huh. Yeah, Aries, you're still kind of showing me the same energy here. You're showing me the same energy. Um, it's fascinating. It's like you want you want to work on the connection between the two of you. But once again, um, I feel like you're kind of working through the emotions and the thoughts about like, mm, do I be independent and single and solo? Or do I kind of like try and stay and make this work? You're, you're still kind of processing, Aries, what you are actually in alignment with. Um, I feel like even though they're causing you to not necessarily know exactly what to feel or how things are going here to kind of like fill things out, literally, um, you're kind of saying, you know what, let me kind of process this a little bit more and just, let me just move forward. Let me kind of just, never mind, never mind then. Um, okay. Now, there, there is an energy here about kind of a letting your imagination run wild. And I kind of feel like, once again, runner, runner, Aries, you're showing me this energy of emotional escapism. Because you're feeling like the relationship with the connection, literally the closeness between the two of you, is creating some sort of some sort of stress. It's almost kind of like your <laughs> your comfort zone is from a, like apart from them. It's away from them because too close, you see everything. So you like to be apart. So it's kind of like it leaves this air of mystery. Um, but yet you're still trying to kind of close that gap and bring the two of you closer together. But you emotionally are keeping yourself actually apart from them. Um, I feel like you're having that realization though. You know, like I, I can't keep running from myself. I can't keep running from relationships or connections or being close to someone emotionally speaking. You know, it, it's a very vulnerable position, if you will, to be emotionally close to someone because they see all your flaws and imperfections. But that's what a relationship is. You relate to one another in a ship relationship. Um, I like this energy because I feel like you have to get it fired up enough, Aries, to actually want something or want someone specific badly enough to show your weak side, to show your vulnerabilities, to emotionally open up and show yourself truly and authentically. I like this. It's an energy of coming back home to oneself emotionally to not only bring you closer to yourself, but also bring you closer to someone. Now, here's, again, once again, what's interesting, Aries, about this energy is you do show me the two of you, after some thought and consideration, are trying to work on things together. But you, once again, Aries, are emotionally kind of showing me, well, it's kind of eh. And again, it's this energy of you're entertaining the thought of fantasy and illusion and imagination, and you're comparing that with your reality. And so once again, that there's still one foot in fantasy and one foot in reality, and it's this in-between that is causing this energy of, if you wonder like what's keeping us apart, that. It's your imagination that's kind of running a little bit wild. Um, you show me, it's kind of like, okay, maybe I need to kind of, you know, straighten up here a little bit and sharpen my, you know, sharpen my game, if you will. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's pretty much what it is. It's kind of like saying, if you want to make something work, come with that energy of I'm ready to make this work. And if they don't match that energy, peace. See ya.
but you know, of course, if you are dealing with anyone, it could be dealing with an earth sign, an air sign, a fire sign, or a water sign. Goodbye.